Good evening, evening everybody. It's uh, November the 15th, 2014, and it's 8.03 p.m. in Concord, California. Okay, so earlier I uploaded a video, and it, uh, apparently I, I used a, a crater from the from Mars instead of the moon. I don't know if it's if that's true or not, but it, it, somebody said it was, and it maybe it's possible that it was. And I'm and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a, I'm the first to admit that there's some there's times when you will see things that you want to see if you look hard enough for it. Okay, that's that's happened to me a lot of times when I first started doing this. It doesn't happen that often anymore, but there are times when you do make mistakes. But check this out. You're gonna love this. You stick around. You're gonna see something that happened because of that that overlay that I did in that last video okay I, I mean I've already made two videos on this and I got I got kind of excited and heated up and, and everything else you know over this this uh, this discovery it was pretty incredible what happened okay so I've I've showed in the weather up here South American weather weather from South America over North America many times and, and it, it was you know it's absolutely there there's no doubt about the, the weather up here fitting South America here perfectly I mean with the with this you know the V and everything I showed that before okay so anyways I I know that whatever whatever it is it, okay Copernicus as well as Maunder on the moon it may not be Maunder on Mars that hit there but it is Maunder on the moon that goes with that Great Lakes spot, which is down here. I'm sorry, but the last few days I've been I've noticed this pattern up here. Or a few days ago I noticed it, and, and and I've been seeing this pattern up here. And and if you look in South America, there is this. I showed it before. This curve right, right there, and it's it's hard to see in this image. I'm gonna go to to one, uh, Google Earth and show you here. It's right here. And I'm not saying it's a, it's, it looks like a curve, anyways. You can see it right here. Oops, I don't want to give this video away yet. You've already seen this picture anyways, but, and it's called Perfect Finally. And it is perfect. You're going to see how perfect it is in just a minute. Okay, so anyways, um, let me bring up the South America one here. Perfect South America. And it is perfect South America, and you're going to see that in a minute. Okay, so I've, I put this here last week when I made that video where I was pointing out... Uh, let me just go back here. I, I, I'm skipping something here. Okay, so anyways, I've showed before Copernicus hitting in this area of South America right here before. And it's easier to see in this picture here, right here. See that? That spot right there? Okay, Copernicus lines up with that spot very well. Very well. And, it, and Imbrium goes all the way around south, this part of South America. Showed that before. Okay, so I know, since I know that Copernicus goes here, and Copernicus goes up here, or the, I know that South America shows its, its weather here anyways, so that, 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 that means that Copernicus, from South, that South America spot down here, would show in the weather up here, which would be right about where the Great Lakes are, right? So I put the Maunder Crater together, with the uh, with Copernicus okay so if that if those two go together that means both those parts of the Maunder crater that's inside Mare Oriental has hit the same place that Copernicus has hit and it's created that crater it created the crater Maunder that's in Mare Oriental Basin and it also created the Copernicus crater on, on the on the moon. Whatever this spot right here on the on the earth created those both those things on the moon. Okay, so basically instead of building well I brought up Mare Oriental and I, I at first I put it here, okay? And then I, I brought it over here and since I know that Maunder crater goes in the same place as Copernicus, I put that together like this. And this is and that's all that's basically Wait for it here. Let me see. Is that the right one? It might be a little higher up here. Oh, it better be. It better have saved it. Oh no, no, no! What is going on here? Oh no, no, no! Oh no! It didn't save the other. Okay, it did save it. It was the last one. I'm sorry. I was panicking for a minute there. Okay, so since uh. There's Maunder on the moon. This is the Maunder crater on the moon, right? 
Okay, so I lined that up at the same place where Copernicus goes in South America. That's all I did. I, I swear to you that's, that's how I aligned this crater over South America. And that's all I did with, so far. That's all I did. I had no idea what was going to happen at all. Okay, I had no idea what was going to come next. I didn't even think of bringing up this other picture called Perfect Finally until after I looked at this for a minute and said, you know, that might, it, it looks like it goes there. It could go there. And there's, it, might, it may or may not. You see this area up here looks similar. It, the whole thing looks very similar. Like it could go there, right? I mean, it, it's a possibility. You see this kind of edge right here come down. And it's, you know, it's, it's a, you know, a long shot, you would think, that it would go there. Okay, so let's just take away this picture of the crater that I only aligned to South America. Only, only aligned to there. Now, a week ago, when I made this video about the perfect finally overlay, I have showed you it with this spot on the Earth. I, I brought, this is North America. You see there's California. There's the West Coast. Okay, and you see this big round area right here, the circular pattern right here, over this spot right here, which is round. And it's going to it's gonna confirm that it was there. I'm going to confirm to you that North America was right here in this area, okay, with this spot, just like I have it right here. Exactly. It's, it is perfect. And it, I didn't know how perfect it was until today. Okay, so anyways, this I did a week ago, and it has not moved. I have not moved this image whatsoever. I wasn't even thinking about it when I did the Mare Oriental overlay just now, today, this one. Wasn't even thinking about it until after I, I got it up there and I started clicking on some of these other pictures that I did, you know, recently. So here's South America. Let's put South America back. Okay, there's South America. And bring this to the top. I put this over the top. And then I brought up perfect finally. That's all I did. I swear to God, I didn't move this picture at all after I put it up or brought it up. You know, it's, you can see that it's up my list a little ways. But check it out. I'm looking right here first because this is where I, you know, I'm looking at this spot right here where everything else was lined up, right? And and I, I it's not that I didn't see nothing because I, I'll show you in a second what you see. But look over here. Look how, look what fell right into position. Check this shit out. What do you think of this? Nobody on this planet knew that I was going to put that picture there and and created and could have created that weather picture to fit there just because they knew I was going to put it there. This, it could not have happened. It, it, the puzzle could not be nobody would go through that much trouble to make such a complicated puzzle that that where they could predict what you were going to do i mean it's there's no way it's not possible but you see that falls right into place i mean it's it looks a little like it could go just a little bit that way but i'm not even going to move it it's it's right there okay you can see that exact shape now how big is the moon how big do you think the fucking moon is? Excuse my language, but I'm, I'm not kidding. I get so sick of the shit that I catch sometimes. And, you know, I, I, I posted this thing on Craigslist the other day in, in like a community thing or whatever, some kind of discussion forum thing. And, and I got all kinds of boneheads commenting and saying a bunch of dumb shit. But anyways, um, you see that? The moon is not a fourth of the size of the earth. That's, it's total bullshit. It cannot be, when you see this weather pattern over the earth, which is projected from the surface, this, these clouds are, this is what the earth looks like right below these clouds, okay? And Schrodinger's in here too. You can see the, the lunar south pole is hit here. Mare Oriental is hit here. It is the base of the impact. This, look at that. If I move that over just a little bit, it would be an absolutely perfect fit into that hole. No kidding. You could, I mean... And then look at this. Check this out. See this yellow area here? Take a look. I mean, there's no way, no way anybody would ever expect that I would put that there. It just goes there because it absolutely goes there. North America was here. Here, let me take this crater off. 
South America was absolutely here because you see that perfect finally fits there too. Over that. Look at it. It fits over South America very well. I mean, you can see if I turn it like this, you can see it, all this area. It fits there. All because of that one uh, thing that I put together, Maunder and Copernicus. Because I know Copernicus hits in South America. And now I know for a fact it does. I know for sure that it absolutely does. And Maunder hits there too. So they there was there's a place right there in South America and in North America where the Great Lakes are apparently or somewhere in that area <coughs> that have hit hit by the same thing on the moon or two different places on the moon have hit that spot and it's created a crater in each of those places on the moon. Copernicus and Maunder were both created by the same thing on the earth apparently. Something like that. It's it's gets complicated, but it's it it really does get complicated when you start to put this together where you have South America over the top or in the same place. So they had to be either they were I mean it's hard to imagine them being on top of each other or layered, but I mean I'm not going to I'm not shutting that out. I mean every anything's possible. So they had to be created in the same place at different times. The continent was created here in this spot because it's you can see that in the Pacific you can absolutely see that there's no other area on the earth that looks this way with the ocean floor these are impacts you can see the folding uh, those are impacts absolutely and we can see that for sure right now right here perfect finally or with the Mare Oriental we'll just put Mare Oriental over just this and take a look That's an impact. Look, look right here. You can see there's a monitor right there. I mean, it's right here on the ocean floor. It goes with that. If you line monitor up with that ocean floor and you put the center of Mare Oriental right in that area somewhere, and, you, and then you can see all the it, it should just all fall right into position. And then right here, you got this big crater, which lines right up with this. Now this is a spot that it's always grabbed my attention from the beginning. There was some kind of volcanic area, volcanic thing right here. It always lines up with something in the weather or something, something important, something big. There's a big volca volcanic thing here, okay, that, or mountain or whatever it is. But it creates that crater or it does something. Those two go, those areas go together. I've seen a lot of things go with that spot in Australia, for sure, right here. Okay, so that's another thing that lines up very well. But you see, when I bring up that weather, there, there's, it's impossible, like I say, it's impossible for them to be able to predict where I'm going with that. And you see how perfect that fits in there. That just fell in place all by itself. See that? I mean, just putting, not by itself, I mean, I'm putting things together that I find. And that's how you do it. You're not going to do it overnight. You have to take things that you've seen over the, over a period of time, put them together. And once you put them all together, you'll start to see the picture of what's going on here. There was definitely an impact right here. Okay? And there was definitely an impact right here by the moon. Or if there was not an impact, then it was really, really super close to the earth and it was magnetically pulling that shit up from the earth. The mountains and everything are all pulled magnetically, not gravitation, not by gravity, come on, by magnetism or something. It had to be magnetism. And then we have the ice ages and all that with North America, you know, being under a mile thick ice. Come on. The moon had to have something to do with that. It had to have because the moon has shaped the entire planet Earth. No kidding. I, earlier in my other videos, I started getting into God and all that stuff. Because, I mean, the moon and the earth, I can understand why people in prehistoric times or ancient times, whatever you want to call it, why they, they could see the moon and the sun as, as gods. Because basically, it, cha it, it controlled every day of their life. The, the sun, of course, and the, we the weather and weather was, you know, the, and the moon at the same time. It was probably so close, and they absolutely seen a different side of it than we've seen. Because we, we don't see, we cannot see the Schrodinger crater on the moon. When you look at the moon, you cannot see the lunar south pole or the Schrodinger crater. But, but Stonehenge is 
is the Schrodinger crater. It's, it's made, it's built to represent the Schrodinger crater on the lunar south pole. No kidding. It de it's a definite. It's a definite. Because you see, over Europe, all day long, the lunar south pole print with Schrodinger, very, you know, very large. And they seen it in ancient times as well. And they built Stonehenge to let you know or to, or to worship it or whatever. They built Stonehenge because they seen that crater. That crater meant a lot to them. It, mean, it should mean a lot to everybody because it's basically been around the whole, the whole planet Earth. That crater is the most important crater on the Earth, I think, in my opinion, the Schrodinger crater. I mean, they're all important. This Imbrium as well, and same with Mare Oriental, all important. They all lead to very important things. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I did not align that picture to that weather pattern. To, just because, I mean, it fell right into position all on its own, basically. So that's, I thought that was pretty important, pretty, you know, I don't know what it is. The thing that, the thing that fascinates me more than the moon hitting the earth and all that, that's easy for me to believe. I can believe the moon's hit the earth. That, I can see it. I know it happened. You can look at the ground and the mountains and the rocks and you can see that it happened. Okay, and, and all the big oceans and all the water, it's huge. It, it's not from small things, it's from something huge. And I've always thought that. Every time I've watched a documentary, that they, they, they're showing these big folds and these, these, you know, these faults that go up the whole, you know, miles long, you know, hundreds of miles long or whatever. And they're showing these things and I'm going, you know, there's something. They're leaving something out. And for sure. And then you think of the dinosaurs, how they're buried under all this rock, you know, you know, what, 50 feet under a bunch of rock. How they didn't just stand there and let the rocks fall on them. They, they definitely were buried quickly by <clears throat> not a volcanic eruption. That would probably that that might do it. But I mean, it was definitely the moon hitting the earth. It had to be. Look at all the look at the geologic formations. Look at the crystals and the, the gold and everything. It's all from those impacts. It is absolutely a bigger story than they tell us. Why? And here, let me get back to this part. It fascinates me more than anything that we don't know this is common knowledge. It, that is the most interesting part of it to me. The moon hitting the earth, it's interesting. It is absolutely fascinating to me. I think it's cool. But see, we're, we're getting these pictures from them, the people that are lying to us and not giving us the, the proper information. They're giving us, giving us this fairy tale story or whatever one of the one of them's not not real it's either this and i don't see how they could make this not real what you see if you look you'll see it too but they can definitely make up their own story and feed it to the feed it to the masses and people i mean this is not talked about you watch any documentary or you look on the internet you will not find anything su substantial about the moon hitting the earth nothing I've looked and looked and looked. You might find a little tidbit of something here and there, like somebody with a theory that they think that it hits, that it might have hit the Earth one time. In the, it has hit the Earth many times. Every big crater you see like this on the Moon, and the Moon is bigger than they say. There's no way around that. You cannot get around it. There's no way around that because you can see it on the ocean floor in this perfect, finally, image. There it is, right there. That puts it to scale. Boom. Okay, so that's that's perfectly aligned. That weather is aligned to the surface, to that ocean floor surface right there. It's the same size. I'm not making it bigger because it's weather higher above the Earth, that which you would think it would be a little bit bigger, being high above the Earth. I'm I got it down to where it fits right there in the ocean floor, which is low, which is deep. Okay, so if anything, you see what I'm saying? That makes this all proper. This is the proper size. That makes this the proper size. North America is the proper size. And then you bring up the moon, and it is the proper size. How can you get around that? I don't see how. It has to be that size. That crater has to be that big on the moon. It has to be. And same with all the other ones. And it, it's consistently that big every time I put down the lunar south pole anything. I don't give a shit what it is. Any crater that I reverse on the moon and put it over the earth is always is consistently the same size like this big much bigger than they say 
like I said, the lunar south pole and Schrodinger, they, Schrodinger is only supposed to be 200 miles in diameter on the moon. But it's a, like 1,000 or 1,200 on the Earth, the print that it leaves, and in the weather. That's five times bigger than they say. Make it, so if the moon's too, it's, that would make it bigger than the Earth. I don't, I'm not saying it's bigger than the Earth. I'm, I don't know that for sure. But it's at least close to the size of Earth, at least a Mars-sized planet, at the very minimum. At the very minimum, it's Mars-sized planet. And it's probably equal. You watch Sailor Moon, and they tell you that it's, it's, the moon's power is equal to the Earth's. And I, and I believe Sailor Moon more than anything else on the planet because they're the only ones that tell us the truth. The only ones I've ever found in my years that has told us the truth, and I had to wait a lot of years to find it. I just, you know, I never watched Sailor Moon. I'm not a, I'm old, pretty old, you know, beyond that. I, I was grown, way grown up when that shit came out. I, but I didn't watch that or nothing until after I discovered that the moon already, I, I had already discovered the moon hit the, earth, hit the earth. Then I watched Sailor Moon just to see. I was just curious because I looked up Nibiru and I, they said Nibiru was a, Dark Nibiru was a character on uh, Sailor Moon musical. And I watched that musical and right from the very beginning of that musical, the very all the words that the, through the whole thing through the whole musical you could you could I knew exactly what the the little hidden things they were talking about everything every one of them pretty much but I've learned a lot from that from the music from them because they've known for years I mean it, that Sailor Moon started in 97 or no 94 so 94 you know that's 20 years ago it's 20 years ago They've known for at least that, and they and they had to know a lot before then. So I mean, I just I've only known for like four years. They've known for twenty plus, much longer, about it. So they know a lot. And if you want to learn little, the little things that they that they know, you have to watch it. So I watched it all. I didn't watch any cartoons. I just watched the musicals and I watched the live action series, which was unbelievable truth because they show the moon hit the earth. In the in the series, they sh uh, several times, and they talk about how it's done it so many times. It's going to repeat itself. It's going to do it again. The, the Earth will be destroyed. The Moon's going to do it. It's clear as day. Okay, it, it's right in front of our face. Whether you want to talk about it or not, that's that's fine. I don't care. You don't have to talk about. It. I will talk enough about it for you. <laughs> Because I mean, because it, it interests me. I'm fascinated by how this happens all the time. This is not even the first time this has happened like this. This happens every day. If I wanted to, if I work on th this stuff, you know, for an hour or two, it'll happen every day. And I do, I do do this every day, and I do learn something new pretty much every day. But that goes there. You cannot deny that. It absolutely goes there, showing that this is North America weather, and it it absolutely goes down here in this spot because I got this other stuff lined up and you can actually see this little spot right here anyway this this part tells you that it was you know part of it so Mer I my badass one where I have Mer Oriental lined up here actually this one might be the Great Lakes it's showing that at the Great see I don't have this at the Great Lakes I used to I used to put this one used to line up right here up in this area but apparently there's a couple different alignments you can get out of this if you this but this is the, the you can see that this is the proper this is absolutely correct right here which puts Yellowstone right in that area somewhere right there well, maybe where that small one is right here could be this one right here but the look at that impact that's right there it's right there Let's go look at that in, in North America. It's right here. Ooh. Somewhere right in here. I mean, if we turn the weather on now, the weather on Google Earth is garbage, but we could turn it on now and see what, see what it shows. I mean, it's, it might show something. It used to show a lot, but it doesn't show much, you, you know, anymore. <laughs> but look at how, look at all these little, see how I have all these thumbtacks? Mark, there's green under every one of them so again. Those are those radar things that they got for the, I guess, NORAD or something. The ones that make all the noise in the night when they got them turned up, cranked up at nighttime. You can hear, they, they're definitely making some kind of frequency noise up there in Canada. 
those uh, radar, the NORAD radar things. But that's pretty interesting. I'm just going to leave it there at that. You know, you got to understand how this, how, if, if I could even make people understand how many times this has happened to me doing this, these overlays, I mean, it would just, you would be, you would believe it too. I mean, there's just no way that they could predict where I'm going to go with these pictures. There's no way. I mean, they, they, I can understand if they made a picture that fit somewhere, it just a fool somebody, right? And, but there's no way that they're going to be able to make a picture. And even if they did, it still shows the earth being, I could still put the, the earth together with one picture that they've made of, if they made it to fit like North America, just to fool people, right? Well, that that's pretty cool that they did that because I've used that picture that they used to fool people to put the earth back together because not only does it fit North America, it fits everywhere else too. And they, maybe they didn't know it, maybe they did, I don't know. But it's there, there's no way they could predict where I'm going with it all the time. And I, I'm telling you, I've been so many places with these pictures. There's no way that they could predict where I'm going to go and just have that happen like that. No way. Like I said, it happened many times like this. If that's not that, then uh, I really am trying to put things where they go, where they, where I want them to go, huh? But that's, uh, like I said, I this was up here over South America. I had I had no intentions on. I di didn't even think about it till like the last minute. I was like, oh yeah, well, what about that shit I just did over here last week? Let's bring some of that up. Okay, let's do it. And that's what happened. I was looking, like I said, I looked here first. I didn't really see much. I didn't really notice that yet. I couldn't really see much, but you can kind of see something there. But, you know, basically what you're seeing is this, the edge of this impact here and the center of it. Ooh, man, love that. So, you non-believers who don't think the moon is planet X, you better think again because the moon is a planet. It's not, and they never landed on the fucking moon. If they're lying about the size of the moon, and and that it's it's obviously, even if it hasn't hit the Earth, it's shaping our weather. Put it that. Let me put it that way clearly. Even if you don't believe that it's hit the Earth, it it shapes our weather. It shaped all the weather on the planet Earth. Every weather pattern you see on the Earth will fit on the moon. So that's that's something they don't tell you. It's shaped the land, the, the land itself, physically shaped the land itself. They don't tell you that. I mean, it's, if they don't tell you these things, then they're lying about going to the moon. Because they, they're saying it's just a small thing to throw you off. And, and that it's, so, it's probably further away from the earth than they say. It's probably bigger than it. It's definitely bigger than they say, but it's probably further away. They've never landed on it. You've got to be out of your mind to believe that. Anyways, I mean, from the footage they show, from the interviews they do, if you if you fall for that, you're, you're kind of <laughs> they got you brainwashed. I'd have to say, because I uh, I mean I didn't fall. I don't I I never believed it. <laughs> Even when I was a little kid, I mean, maybe I thought you know it didn't really it didn't really matter if I believed it then. I, maybe I maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I just played rockets and something or something with my friends. I have no idea. I don't remember. But, uh, you know, since I've been old enough to, to think for myself, I've been, I haven't believed it. I mean, uh, you watch this stuff. You watch them land and they pop right off the moon. And how come they can't pop right off the earth? Oh, because the gravity. Gravity is bullshit. <laughs> they are trying to keep you from going there yourself or they're trying to keep you from finding the stuff that's on the earth brought by these lunar impacts and, and putting it all together because then you might find something before they do. Some hidden city with treasures of gold or whatever. I don't know what. It doesn't matter, but they're definitely <coughs> doing it for that reason. They don't want you to find things. And there's probably nothing left to find, but just in case, they're going to keep... They can't stop lying. They have to keep telling the lie. I mean, they're not going to stop. Governments... Never give up. They, they're persistent, and then they'll just keep lying forever. 9-11, Vietnam, you know, Iraq, Afghanistan, the whole, all of it. It's all, everything, everything. Ebola, if, if it's true, they're the ones doing it. If, ISIS, they're the ones behind it. 
Al Qaeda, they're the ones behind it. You can't believe a fucking word they say. So, I don't believe a word they say. Nothing at all. They can they can sit here and, and have a debate over the elections. That's all staged and, and scripted bullshit, if you ask me. They already know who's going to win, and that's obvious too. I mean, so I don't I don't give them any of my time. I try not to give them any of my time because they're not worth it. It's I do whatever I want, but if it, I mean if it's going to hurt somebody, I'm not going to do it. You know, I just I just go that way. I just I just be my own governor. You know, I'd be my own government. Fuck them motherfuckers that, you know, want to charge me taxes and take my money and, and go build bombs and take over other countries just so they can have more and more and more and more power. I'm not down with that. I, I'm not going to stand behind that. Not ever. Never. Ever. You know, people think, you know, support the troops. I'm not supporting no troops that go to another country to steal their country and their oil. I'm not going to support that. I'll support the people that are that are the troops in another way, but I'm not going to support that. I will not support the troops. I do not support going to other countries, killing people, and taking their shit. I don't do it. So, I mean, it's it's just, you got to think for yourself, people. you you got to really sit down and think, is this right or wrong? Okay? It's not right to do that. You think that they attacked America. If you open your eyes, you would know that... They didn't attack America. The people that attacked America are right here in America. Who knows? Maybe they're not in America. Maybe they just say they are. I don't know. They just video it from somewhere else to say they're in America. It doesn't doesn't make any difference because I don't believe any of it when I see it anyway. And I don't know how I got off into this rant, but I'm just saying. I don't believe anything anymore. I don't believe in God the way everybody does because I don't think... I, I would think the moon and the earth and the sun are God more than anything because I can see them. And they've, they've totally are behind our existence. We, would, we don't exist if they don't exist. And they had to exist first before we could exist. So, you know, I'm just saying. They have controlled our lives every day, the sun and the moon and the earth. Every day they control our lives. Our lives depend on them. They basically are more God than any imaginary spiritual thing that's been planted in my head by other humans at, from the time I was a child. I'm not going to, I'm old enough now I can see that, well, these, I, I, I'm supposed to believe in God because people, other people believe in God. Why is that? Who started this whole thing with, you know, God is some guy, that, you know, where you go to heaven and blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't believe that. And I, don't, I totally respect other people's beliefs. If you want to believe that, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not gonna, I used to believe in God, too, at one time. So, I mean, anyways, that's my rant. And that just shows you that I'm right. It confirms this is in place. It confirms that's in place. It confirms that everything was created here in the Pacific. It just confirms it, confirms it, confirms it. And I'm, I'll still continue to confirm it as I find things. Have a great day. Well, I feel a lot better now. Damn it. Love that when I do that. All right. See you.